Do you, you know, know what podiatry, podiatry is? is? Um, aren't they like pediatricians? Podiatry, are those the doctors with the foot fetishes? Feet? Ugh, feet. Why feet? It's disgusting. Uh, isn't that like for whale pods or like dolphin pods? Like you guys take care of um, fish and like, like kind of like vets, right? Why don't they just do orthopedics? Are those doctors? Hey guys, welcome back to our new video today. I know we haven't been posting again. Our second year is really busy and we're really bogged down with work and clinical rotations on top of school is pretty tough, but this is what our life is about. This is what we put ourselves into. So we just have to accept it and just get through it, you know? Again, we are excited to share a brand new video today with you guys on what is podiatry. As you guys can tell through the snippets of videos at the beginning of this video, not a lot of people completely understand what podiatry is about. On the APMA website, their definition of a podiatrist is a doctor of podiatric medicine, a physician and a surgeon who treats the foot, ankle, and related structures of the leg. That's pretty much suffices what a podiatry is, obviously, right there. But in addition to that, a podiatrist is somebody who can focus and uh, emphasize themselves on many fields such as surgery, sports medicine, wound care, diabetic care, pediatrics. So this the, the field is vast. You can do so much with this field and it's, it's incredible what you can do after you're done with schooling. I can't wait for that. We have four years of education, just like allopathic and osteopathic medical school. And then we also have three years of residency and then one year fellowship that a lot of people just do now. It's the norm. But our first two years, we have the basic sciences. But on top of that, we also have lower extremity anatomy, podiatric surgery, podiatric medicine, and other lower extremity courses. Another difference is that we start off early on, obviously, with not just that basic medical knowledge, but we also talk a lot about the lower extremities. And we do that beginning um, in, our, in our school, we actually start doing clinical rotations our second year, like he was saying. We, uh, it can get a little hectic and busy, but it makes it a lot more interesting and we feel like we can do a lot more with that since we know very early on we're thrown into patient rooms and we have to deal with basically playing doctor. And another thing about residency now is that we actually work alongside other DOs or MDs and we learn exactly the same things. We go through the same training, but obviously that's along with our foot and ankle training. Another thing I wanted to add on to what he was saying about podiatry, for me, it's also, from what I've seen so far, it's really cool because when you're studying lower extremities, it can tell you a lot about other conditions like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and arthritis, just much more. You could take that and learn a lot about a person's overall health. Just think of the feet as a foundation to your body. Without a good foundation, you're pretty much not, you're not gonna be good. It's really important and crucial to have a really good foundation such as your feet to really support you throughout your day. And it's really important that you take good care of that. And a lot of people like to overlook that, but that's why we're here. We're studying podiatry and this is what we're here for. So we're gonna make sure that you guys are gonna be good for the rest of your lives. So in addition to physical examination and doing foot and ankle surgery, as podiatrist, which I just found, recently found out, is that you could do physical therapy on patients, which is pretty, pretty cool because a lot of our field, we're looking at the biomechanics. So it's really important that we show people how to just perform different exercises, different stretches. And that's one of the things that I loved about podiatry or about this field is that it's very conservative, but it's also a very easy to show some of these things to patients when you see them. In addition, we prescribe medication, customize and fit orthotics on patients, and we also interpret imaging. So there's a lot to do as a podiatrist. It's not just to look at, yes, it revolves around the foot and ankle, but there's, there's so much wiggle room that you could do with it. It's, it's, it's fun, you know? This is important. So I also wanted to let you know that if you're considering podiatry, you will be called a doctor. And the, the only difference is that our degree is the doctor of podiatric medicine. 
This video is very important to us because this is basically the root of our channel and the root of our profession and we need to make sure you guys understand that. So if you have, guys have any questions about anything about podiatry or school related, just please feel free to email us or Instagram us, DM us on uh, the DPM journey at gmail.com and follow us on Instagram at the DPM journey. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe because that helps us to spread the knowledge about podiatry and for all those people who won't be able to otherwise figure out, oh, this is an option, it helps. Yeah. So with that being said, you guys have a great weekend or a great okay. week. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Take care, guys. Uh, podiatry is, uh, has to do with the feet and legs, from what I understand. Uh, my youngest, of course, was uh, disabled, uh, and so unfortunately he had to go through certain surgeries uh, to correct uh, the, uh, I guess the best way to put it is the results of the cerebral palsy uh, from the muscles being tightened and the uh, tendons also being tightened and atrophying uh, to the point to where they needed to be relieved of that tension. Mm -hmm.